Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about the ultimate diet for hair growth and thickness. I don't know why I did this, but yeah. I don't know why I always sound like a teacher every single time I say, so today. <laughs> Children, listen, so today. <laughs> anyway, we're going to be talking about that topic because it's one of the most frequently asked questions from you guys. I would always get messages asking me what I eat and I would definitely film what I eat in the day video but today I would like to discuss this whole topic. Now personally for me, I don't think that there is such thing as one diet to fix all of your hair problems or to make your hair grow faster and thicker. Just because my definition of healthy diet to make my hair grow may not necessarily work for you, especially if you have health conditions. And I don't think that it's wise for me to just tell you guys to follow this one specific diet because first of all, as I've said, I am not a nutritionist and I am not a doctor. So I'm not gonna play genius here and tell you guys to follow the ketogenic diet because it's gonna make your hair grow. Just because I know for some people the ketogenic diet does not work for them, although that diet is very ideal for hair growth because that requires you to eat adequate protein and healthy fats and it also requires you to cut off sugar. And as much as that diet is great and amazing for your hair, I think for my mental health, <laughs> It did not work for me. I was just like a really grumpy person when I was on a ketogenic diet And a lot of people say that that's just me detoxing for me personally I've tried the keto diet and it's just not sustainable for me So yeah, that did not work out even though I know that some people claim that that has really work wonders for their hair. So if that works for you, then that's amazing. But I know that's not applicable to every single person. But today, however, I will be sharing with you some foods that you can incorporate in your diet. And you can either get them in supplement form or you can literally get them straight up from its source. So just in general, if you want long, thick and healthy hair, eat foods that are rich in number one, biotin. Now, biotin is a B vitamin, which may help your hair grow and strengthen it. And also, biotin is essential for the production of a hair protein called keratin. Now, you can find biotin in egg yolks. Um, it's also in organ meats, liver and kidney. I personally don't like that. If you're vegan or vegetarian, you can also get this in nuts like almonds, peanuts, and walnuts or nut butters. Um, you can also get this in soybeans or other legumes whole grains and cereals, cauliflower, and bananas. And I'm pretty sure that probably some of you, all of these things that I mentioned can be found in your kitchen or you can easily buy this at your supermarket. All right, so number two also is to focus on eating protein-rich foods. Now, I'm not saying to overload on protein, but as I've said, eat adequate protein or add more protein into your diet because eating adequate protein is important for hair growth because hair follicles are made of mostly protein and a lack of protein in the diet has been shown to promote hair loss. You can get protein from lean meat, poultry, fish, eggs, tofu, nuts, seeds, legumes, and beans. And also you can get protein from milk, cheese, and yogurt. All right, so the next one is vitamin D. Now, vitamin D can help stimulate hair follicles that have become dormant. So that's why vitamin D is very essential. Now, I used to think that you can only get vitamin D in the sun, but it also says here that there are some certain foods that you can get vitamin D from, and that is from fatty fish, beef liver, cheese, and mushrooms. Now the next one is vitamin E. Now vitamin E has potent antioxidant activity that helps to reduce oxidative stress in the scalp, which is known to be associated with alopecia. Now here are some sources to where you can get vitamin E. Now you can definitely go for the supplements if you don't want to eat them. But however, you can find vitamin E in wheat germ oil, sunflower seeds, almonds, peanut, peanut butter, collard greens, spinach, pumpkin, bell pepper, red bell pepper, asparagus, mangoes, and avocados. The next one that you guys can incorporate more on your diet are iron-rich foods. Now, iron helps boost circulation and 
carries oxygen to your hair roots which helps your hair grow faster and longer. Now iron deficiency has been linked to hair loss. So you can get iron from liver, red meat, beans, such as red kidney beans and chickpeas, chickpeas, <laughs> and nuts, dried fruits such as dried apricots and soybean flour. All right, so the next one is vitamin C. Now vitamin C makes it easier for your body to absorb iron and your body needs vitamin C to create a protein known as collagen, an important part of hair structure. You can get vitamin C, as I've said, in supplements, but also you can get them in citrus fruits such as calamansi, lemon, oranges, or orange juice. And also in here it says that you can get them from peppers, strawberries, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, and potatoes. My favorite. All right, so the next one is to eat more omega-3 fatty acids rich food. Omega-3 fatty acids nourishes the hair and supports its growth, and they also reduce inflammation sometimes associated with hair loss. Omega-3 definitely has helped my hair grow. Here are some food sources that you can naturally get omega-3 and that is from salmon, mackerel, tuna, herring, sardines, walnuts, seeds such as flax seeds, flax oil, soybean oil, canola oil, and spirulina. Okay, so next one is L-lysine. Now L-lysine is a certain amino acid in protein-rich foods that may help promote hair growth. L-lysine is also present in hair's root and it is responsible for the shape and volume of the hair. Now you can get it from once again eating meat, eggs, beans, lentils, nuts, and spirulina. Alright so the last one is to eat more foods that contain selenium. Selenium is a mineral that may help boost hair growth and also selenium is essential for the production of the thyroid hormones that help to regulate hair growth. Now other foods that contain selenium includes eating meat, liver and fish, eggs, milk and other dairy products. Alright, so that is it you guys. I hope you all found this video helpful and also let me know in the comments down below what foods are you eating right now that you find that is helping your hair grow and also is there any particular diet that you all are into or are you all following that you find that is actually helping your hair grow and thick? Let me know in the comments down below and once again if you found this content valuable please do share it to a friend and I will see you on my next one. Bye.